Hey guys, it's Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is another awesome deep conditioning treatment that will give your hair strength, moisture, and keep it nice and shiny, prevent it from breaking. Um, definitely worth watching. So I'll suggest that you watch and you watch till the end so you get to see all of the steps. Now let's hop right into it guys. So now we are going to need some flax seeds. Now you can get this from Amazon or eBay or you can check your regular grocery store. You can definitely find this quite easily. So I'm using about half a cup of flax seeds but feel free to use less if you're not looking to make too much of this. Um, I was looking to make some and store later on so you will later on get to see exactly how much of the dip conditioner I was able to make with this um, so you want to pop it in a little pot and then we'll be adding some water um, so I think altogether I added about maybe three to four bowls of water but you can see my bowl is very very small um, so add as much water as you need to guys um, is absolutely fine so after you added water you want to pop this on the stove and allow it to boil for about 10 minutes Now you know this is ready when the gel starts to form at the top just like you can see here or the water starts to get a bit slimy. So after that guys take it off the stove and then we're going to go ahead and strain it um, using just a regular sieve. Now if you end up having some seeds in this you may want to get that out. So essentially make sure you strain so that you don't have any flax seeds left in your um in your liquid essentially now after we've done that guys we'll transfer it back to this pot because we'll be using this um, liquid as the as a base to cook our oats now i made an oat deep conditioner sometime in the past guys and you guys really love that video and essentially this is another great way that you can make oats for amazing hair so nice and shiny hair very moisturized nice and strong and essentially um hair that will not break so essentially i added about i would say maybe one cup of oats feel free to use any oats it could be your regular oatmeal it could be organic like any oats that you have um so add that to the same um pot in which we have our flax seeds um sort of liquid and then you just want to go ahead and cook this. So you want to cook until it's nice and soft. You may have to sort of stir every now and again. Add more water if you need to until you get the desired sort of texture. Now because my oats are jumbo oats, they do not really get that mushy. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and take this off the stove. Um, after it's cooked for about 10 minutes now I'm gonna go ahead and blend this up okay guys so you can use your regular blender Nutribullet or anything that you may have to blend this now notice I did not allow it to dry completely I still have some of the flax seeds um, gel in it because I need that to blend my oats um, so as you're cooking it just be a bit aware of this but if it dries it's fine to add water uh, when you're blending consistently until you get the desired sort of consistency. Now that's it all blended here guys. Um, just a quick disclaimer. You definitely want to go ahead and strain this guys. The first video that I shared with you, I did strain. But some people left me comments um, saying that you didn't really have to strain because it does come out of your hair anyways uh, and when it blends it blends quite nice and smooth but I would say it really just depends on what oats you're using now if you're using jumbo oats just like the one that I have here 
um, they are quite high in fiber so you would have some um, some stuff left on it essentially so you'd want to go ahead and strain but if the oats you're using for example are instant oats which are maybe not quite as coarse as this one is then you can get away without straining it but whatever happens guys make sure you blend it really well and see what kind of consistency or texture that you have and then decide from there whether you want to go ahead and strain now i did not strain this but you will later on find out that i did have some stuff left in my hair now we'll be going in here with some honey so i'm using about a tablespoon of honey here honey is really good because it's a natural humectant so it draws moisture from the atmosphere into your hair so really good for adding moisture to the hair now after that we will be going in with some type of oil so this oil here is one of my diy oils but feel free to use any oil of your choice it could be avocado oil olive oil uh, rapeseed oil or any other oil that you may have as long as it's not um, solid in texture so you just want to go ahead and stir this really nicely now this is such a great great strengthening dip conditioner the oats and the flax seeds are quite high in protein so this will give your hair strength moisture and also help to seal your cuticles which will make your hair really nice and smooth so it's such a great conditioner to have in your regimen and most of you guys went ahead and tried my recent oat recipe um, and you really really loved it obviously there's some of you guys that did not really like it um, but for the, for the most part it, the feedback was really positive and again this is such an amazing one again um, that I would suggest that you try because um, yeah you will most definitely like it it is super super moisturizing it gives your hair really nice and um, and good strength and also it adds volume to your hair so it's such an amazing uh, dip conditioner so I'm just showing you guys here how I use it on my hair um, so my hair is kind of clean my scalp is clean um, but my hair is in need of moisture now if you've been working with me for a long time you will know that I wash my hair once every four weeks, sometimes five weeks, but I deep condition in between. So this is pretty much what my deep conditioning uh, routines all sort of looks like. So I would end up making something from home depending on what my hair actually needs. And that's what I will be using to deep condition. So essentially I'm working on my hair in sections just because it's easier to manage that way now i'm gonna work the conditioner through my hair so starting from my roots all the way to my ends now notice i am not applying this directly to my roots just because of the fact that i do not want any scalp buildup just because you know my wash day is still a few weeks away um, but you can certainly apply this to your scalp if you want to because oats and flax seeds are extremely beneficial for scalp the uh, scalp health as well so um but yeah i will not be applying this to my scalp um in today's video just because yeah i'm trying to minimize build up now you do not necessarily need to spray your hair beforehand um, before using this because this is extremely moisturizing on its own so you don't need any sort of you know extra water or anything like that because this already has quite a lot of water anyways so after i worked on one section i'm just going to twist and then do a little bantu knot so it doesn't dry out as i work on the next section and i'm going to pretty much just repeat the same process until the rest of my hair is completely done Now, some of you guys um, actually say that your hair is dry all the time now I would love to know how often you actually deep condition your hair now if your hair is dry very often um, I would definitely suggest that you try to deep condition as often as you can and the reason why that is is because deep conditioning essentially is a good way to add moisture to your hair and also to keep that moisture for a prolonged period of time so if your hair is constantly dry, it may be that you're not deep conditioning as often as you should be. Now I deep condition once every two weeks. 
um, but you may need to dip condition once every week for example just depending on your hair porosity and also um, basically just your hair type in general um, so yeah I hope that sort of helps you guys especially if you do suffer with really dry hair so I'm just gonna go off camera and do the other bits of my hair so at this point that's all done so I'm just putting a plastic bag on my hair here guys just for added heat I'm gonna let that sit on for about three hours to be honest I was just walking everywhere in the house doing what I needed to do while my hair was being deep conditioned so I rinsed this off with just warm water you do not need to shampoo this out of your hair guys because it will dry your hair out so this is what my hair looks like after I washed it out now notice I do have some bits of oats left in it just like I said before guys you do want to make sure that you strain this or if you've done this before without straining and it was fine then it's fine carry on that way so this is pretty much it for me today guys my hair was so nice and moisturized really shiny and I really loved it I hope that you've enjoyed watching the video if you did please give me a thumbs up also subscribe to the channel guys if you're not already and I'll catch you in my next video so thanks so much for watching guys until next time bye